Society. Joker is directed by Todd Phillips and stars Wacken Phoenix as the title character himself. And this follows the story. It's an original story of Arthur Fleck. He is a failed stand-up comedian who is pretty much nowhere in his life right now. He takes care of his mother. He is a very quiet, civilized sort of guy. But the society continues to just pummel him down to, to the ground. He takes the wrong direction, obviously and which leads him to becoming the psychotic maniac that we know him to be as the Joker. Of course, there are no spoilers in this video. You are safe with me. Do not worry. Sit back, relax. It's okay. After this, after I give my grade for this film, of course, I'll be talking about a few things that I want to get off my chest um, regarding the controversy and the reception that this film is receiving probably for the wrong reasons. This film is receiving a lot of attention, but for the wrong reasons, in my opinion. We will talk about that very much later. I had absolutely high expectations for this film. Uh, a, lot of, a lot was riding for me. I was very excited. I loved the first teaser. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. It did not give much away. And I gotta tell you, this film did not disappoint me, not one bit. This is a work of art, in my opinion. I think I think it's a masterpiece. I really do think it's a masterpiece. I thought a lot. I thought a lot about this. It is definitely up there as being maybe regarded as a film of the year. Joker is absolutely astounding as a film. It is a massive achievement, and Todd Phillips directs the hell out of this film. It's brilliant in every way possible. I could not keep my eyes off the screen, not one bit. I was immersed into the film entirely. It was a roller coaster of, of emotions. It was a thrill ride. This is really not a comic book adaptation. It kind of is, it really is an original story. But really, this film is a proper look at a psychological thriller. It really is a character study film. This is not a film which you should go into expecting there to be massive action and crime and crime or whatever you get that but not in the way that you think who's honking you get that but not in the way that you would think because this film is a slow build it is a progression of how this character becomes what he is and how we know him to be but this is a film made by todd phillips who thought a lot about this he really did his homework and he wanted to make his own interpretation it's not a superhero, supervillain film, no. It's not any part of the universe, nothing. It's a solo film, and it's meant to be a psychological thriller. And I absolutely adore that. I absolutely love that. I, I love that there's not many, too many connections. There are a few Easter egg references there, there, but they don't really do much with it. And I'm glad, because they didn't need to. This film is extremely polarizing. It's a very polarizing film. But not always. It really wasn't always like that because when you, I first saw the first reactions, the first reviews, the actual proper reviews for this film, they were absolutely mind-blown. Film of the year, astounding, Phoenix is incredible, five stars everywhere. That's when I knew this film was going to be something special. But then I realized, yes, there are other people coming in, other re re reviews coming in which are polarizing this film. Look at the reviews right now. It's absolutely mixed, completely polarizing. Whereas before, all you universally praised responses. But like I said, this film is receiving the attention for the wrong reasons. But let's talk about the why it should receive the attention for the right reasons. One of them, or most of them, is Wacken Phoenix. This guy is a master in acting. He is proven it. He's proven it time and time again. This is the film for him. This is going to get him the Academy Award for Best Actor, in my opinion. There is absolutely no point in comparing Heath Ledger and Wacken Phoenix because they are completely different characters, in my humble opinion. Different universes, different timelines, different phases in their, in their character's life. This is an original story. It's solely directed at the Joker. The Dark Knight's Joker is already Joker. He is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman, different phases. I really do honestly think that Phoenix pays homage in some sort of way to Heath Ledger. There are some little nitpicky little stuff in there in terms of his character, which reminds me of Heath Ledger and the way he was. 
and I just really, that, it gave me a little bit of a chuckle, it gave me a little bit of a smile. This really is a character study, this really is a transformation of this character and how he has become the villain that we will know him to be. But at the same time, you just feel all these emotions from start to finish when you feel like you want to sympathize for him, you want to feel sorry for the guy. And whereas when he becomes the Joker, not so much. I love the characterization for this film. The minor little details that this guy has, they are a thing of beauty when it comes to making a character on screen. I want to give you a small little example and I want to link that with how the audience responded to it as well. And that's something that I want to talk about. I went, I've seen this film twice now. I've had, I've had a lot of time to think about it. I really wanted to really think about what I'm going to say before making and opening this camera. But I went to a screening with my friends and it was an exclusive student screening. Every people, all of them with student IDs, all of them there, it's absolutely packed, fantastic. There is the first or second scene when we actually see Wack and Phoenix, Arthur Fleck in a therapy session, just talking. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, of course. And obviously he is expressing some sort of emotion. And I was so shocked with the minor detail that they use to further progress this character's mental illness. That they use it in such, such a genius way and nobody had that idea. Nobody actually saw that coming in that first scene. That's when you realize it further down the film. But everyone during that scene, everybody People around me, people behind me were making fun of what was going on in the screen, of how this person was portraying a certain emotion. And people were making fun of him, make, mocking him, portraying him, impersonating him. And I was sitting there and I was obviously very annoyed because I, first of all, heaven. Cinema is heaven to me and I like it to be quiet. I love to be, I love to be immersed into the screen. It is a nice escapism for me don't like it when people are around me are making fun and talking about it or whatever and it's, it's not really great but I found that really interesting and at the same time when it comes to a film like this and what I'm trying to say I didn't really mind it because I knew what was going to happen later on and basically every person in that theater after that scene especially just shut up no more me making fun of no more impersonating nothing no more because they understood what was going on and I absolutely love that because that was the only scene that the people were actually making fun and just laughing or whatever but after that dead silent they are all focused in the film and I really think that they did this on purpose the filmmakers and I think it is a work of brilliance the work of beauty. So that's my point, really. And um, I want to talk about that much more if I ever do make a spoiler video, because it was it was really, really interesting. I just really found that really fascinating. There are so many iconic scenes in this film that I just, I obviously am not going to say anything, but I would say one thing is the last 20 minutes of this film is one of the greatest cinematic moments in history. The soundtrack, the score especially, my goodness, I felt every little instrument that was going on in the background, I felt it, it really just, it took me in, I absorbed it all and I went home and I just listened to the score. It is a fantastic one, there are supporting characters as well, but I feel like there's not much point talking about them because this film is all riding on Phoenix's shoulders. He carries this entire film. But if we're gonna, let's talk about Robert De Niro. He is a late night host, he plays a late night host in this film. He does his job absolutely fine. He, 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 he talks and he dresses, obviously, and he just acts like a host, like, like Jimmy Fallon or Kimmel or Stephen Colbert. And it really is, he really does a great job. I really do see him as a late night host sort of guy and he does a great job. The ending of this film, obviously no spoilers, but I feel like it is a great way to open more interpretation. I thought it was a great thing. It was absolutely fantastic, but I feel like they could have ended it at a specific moment when a certain character just has this massive space, has this massive pause when he says something 
I feel like it should have just gone black screen just then. But, but it didn't, but I like what, what they did. I really, really do like what they did. Just my personal preference. This film is a masterpiece. It really, really is. And I feel like this film is going to be talked about for the next few, few years to come. I'm gonna give Joker an A+. So, let's talk about the um, controversy that is surrounding this entire film. People are under the impression that this film is a very dangerous one. It, sh it is terrifying. You should not be watching it. It's too realistic. What's going on? There are going to be more Jokers in, in this entire society. Where is this coming from? <laughs> And how long have we been talking about this? It's been over, what, 40, 50 years now? People are still under the impression to solely blame art. Art like games, films. This film is a work of art. Beautifully disturbing. It is terrifying. Yes, it has a lot of realism to it as well. It doesn't mean it's, ter it doesn't mean it's a dangerous film. I just think that it is a massive movement that is going on for the past 40, 50 years, but it's not all solely relied on dangerous video games and films that portray all this. It's not all that and it's not the, <laughs> it's not the reason. This has been going on for so long. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Taxi Driver and Mean Streets in a show like Breaking Bad and films like Deadpool who take a light, humorous tone but it's a very dark one at the same time and it's very, very bloody and violent. There are so many more films that are more violent than, than this one. And this film is violent, yes. It's brutal, but it's meant to be that. <laughs> it's supposed to be that. It's a psychological thriller. If you are saying that this film is a dangerous film and you are saying that it is terrifying, you're only praising this film. You are saying that this film is so well done that you actually are under the impression of keeping all your people away from this film. I really do think that Joker is a cinematic masterpiece and I think it's a danger to society if you don't watch it. That's just my opinion. It's a film. It's, it's supposed to make you feel a certain way. That's its job and it's done its thing. The main purpose, and I feel like the reason as to why people make all these headlines, it's attention. It's to receive attention. It's to receive a lot of attention. Attention, 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 all the way through. Why do you think all these posters, all these films have all these reviews on them? And in about a few months time, the Joker Blu-ray will have that same thing. It's dangerous. It's a work of beauty. It's a masterpiece. Very, very dangerous. It has all these it has all these reviews with all these descriptive words because of this reason. It, it, it sparks a lot of attention and that's exactly what's been happening out of this film. What do you guys think about this film? Your thoughts down below. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Look forward to some more reviews on the way. I'm very excited to talk about El Camino, Breaking Bad film coming very, very soon. Thank you for watching.